Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to Let's Try Blooming Business Casino, or rather, the demo for this game. Uh, it is coming out soon, according to the Steam page. This is a business simulation strategy tycoon -y kind of game. Um, it is, this stream is sponsored by the developer, Homo Ludens. Uh, I was curious, I looked up the name, actually, because I'm like, hey, Ludens sounds a lot like Ludum, which is, you know, Ludum Dare is a game program competition I do. Indeed, it has the uh, the same root, sort of the Latin word for, well, it's a few different things, doesn't translate exactly, but sort of play. And actually, in my Googling, I found out that in the uh, 30s in the Netherlands, a book was published called Homo Ludens, and it's about the importance of play in human culture, which I think makes this game company's name fantastic. Uh, so kudos there. Um, you can check the links down below. There'll be a link to the Steam page where you can wish wishlist the game. Uh, there'll also be a link to the, uh, the Discord for the game as well, if you want to follow the development over there. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this business tycoon -y kind of game with animals. And this great sort of, I don't know if you call this cell shading, flat shading, um, I, I'm not sure what you what this this type of art is. I guess it is cell shaded because it's got the shadows that work that way. Impious Ursus. So um, yeah, we're apparently we're in it with the mob right away, the animal mob. Yeah, finally woken up. Thought my nanimals went easy on you. They clearly didn't. Uh, sorry about that. I'm Bar, Antony Bar. You can call me Dawn. Welcome to your new casino. Look how gorgeous it is. Lots of sand, hot weather, no one's around, not even missing the last owner. It's all yours. I mean, it's mostly yours, because you owe me a lot of money. Or you owe me money. Finding someone of your kind costs me a lot, you understand? I'm counting on you to take over and make us some cash. Hey, don't panic. I've got your back. I'm a smart bear. Everything you need is right into your pocket. Open the envelope. Inside, your task in a little advance. Don't mention it. It's on me. I have uh, stuff to do, but I'll call you once you're done with yours. Still, the Barr family is pleased to have you here. Let's go! Let's see. Some people might hate railroading, but having a life's neat. <laughs> All right. So we got over here. Again, this demo is fairly short. It only takes about, well, it takes less than 30 minutes to play here. Uh, casino from scratch. So the way it works in this game is before you start construction, you put down a plan. This is a zone for a particular type of activity. So we'll put down a zone for, um, for, for gaming. Maybe I'll put it over here. Maybe right when we come in. Yeah, let's, let's have it right when we come in over here. So, and then we're being told we have to put 10 slot machines in there. So we've got cheap slot machines and classic slot machines. Now, the classic ones are more expensive. I think, though, you probably, in a real casino, they have a range of different, like, slot machine prices, right? From, like, you know, nickel slots all the way to, you know multiple dollar slot machines over here so different people might be might be attracted to different things you can see the tags here a cheap slot machine it actually says cheap is one of the tags so i'm assuming some of our guests are kind of broke and so they're going to want to play in the cheap slot machines and some of them will have more money and we'll want to play on the others um i think what i'm going to do we'll probably want to cram a bunch more in here later but for now i'm going to make sort of two rows of slot machines over here and i'll put some gaps between them because this step of the tutorial is just to put 10 slot machines in this game area. So let's start with that. Okay, that seems good. Uh, next up, ah, restroom areas. Those sound pretty important. Select a restroom area plan from the plans menu and place it on your casino floor. Boom. Again, this demo is going to be very tutorial-y, but that's okay. We're going to put it maybe in the corner over here. That seems good. Leave the doorway open. Lou, no jokes here. More people die on those than you like to think about. Trust me. Okay. Uh, so we need six Lou's in our bathroom spot there we go excellent and now we got to set up a bar area so we'll do another plan maybe i'll put it next to the loo i mean if people are drinking then they might have to pee so that they can go and drink some more this seems like a good business model we'll take a bar where nobody knows your name uh so it looks like it's gonna have two work spots and then three spots for customers simultaneously i hope we just put it up against the back wall that seems okay click on the ball to bar to hire a bartender Extra bartender. As more clients visit your casino, your bartenders might get overwhelmed by orders. You can have two bartenders operating a single bar at once. Well, let's hire one right now. I don't want to overspend and, you know, get myself in trouble. Done and done. Look at this. It's our first employee, and he's what? A toucan? Yeah. Oh, I wonder how many animals are in this game, actually. Uh, build a cashier's cage and put it in the entrance to let clients buy their chips. So we'll go to the store. Cashier's cage. Where the magic happens. People exchange their real money for fake money. Makes you think, huh? Yeah, they, they can pick up their chips. Uh, it looks, yeah, that's facing the right way. And I'll put it yeah, right in the middle, something like that. You walk in, 
you get that. Click on the cage. And hire staff over here. Cashier. Click my casino to hire a janitor that will keep your casino neat and tidy. There we go. We got stats. Excellent. Again, this is just the demo. So, you know, I'm, I, I expect a lot of this won't really come up for us at this point. It'll be interesting to see how all this plays out in the real game. Uh, hire a janitor. So we'll throw that down over here. What else? Hire a guard to bounce rude clients. Client. The customer is always wrong. What kind of animals did we get? Is that a puffin? What kind of bird is that? I'm not sure. And then a hedgehog? A hedgehog as their security guard. Sebastian Melkor. Oh, they all have names. Ike Treble. Guillaume Solomon. All right. Uh, click on the entrance to... Oh, my God. There's a bunch of people waiting to come in. Oh, look how many different critters there are. Okay. I mean, 10 out of 10 for cuteness. Open casino. New Nanimal. Just heard you finish. Wait. Give me a minute. Boom. Way better. Nanimal's crying are the worst. Congratulations for your opening. You did very well. The bear is impressed, but still not pleased. My Nanimal told me that your entry looked like crap. Almost did a U-turn. I know. We're in the middle of nowhere. Still, not an excuse. Listen, you must enhance your entrance. Beauty brings clients. Clients bring money. That's what we want, yeah? You know? Cash. My Nanimals will call you when you're done. You got this. If I fail, it's the dev's fault? <laughs> oh, I, I, these people have watched my streams before. I like screenshot button, ability to send feedback as well. That's a good idea in the demo. I like that. Um, area beauty. Each area in your casino has a beauty score, which represents how clients perceive the area. Buy and place some furnitures and decorations in the entrance area to increase its beauty score. More clients should be attracted to spend their money in your casino. I mean, there's plenty of people here already, but more is more better. Ooh, there's a lot of decorations. Oh, we're playing The Sims now. Dresser, exotic statue, fake rocks. Okay, different gambling things as well. Greek columns. Leafy plants, tiki torches. Hmm. Actually, even wall lights. I mean, that sounds like a good idea. We'll get some lights up in here. Oh, wait. Should I rotate it the other way? Yeah. Well, you know what? No, it's a decorative choice. We're going to leave those rotated that way. That's going to be a-okay. Um, so that's a bit of beauty. I think I want to get some plants. Maybe we can get bushy plants here and here. You know what? I think I want more like that. Okay. We got to get one of these fake rocks. Plus 10 beauty. I'm assuming this is averaged over the area. Yeah, that's probably the way that works. Um, I don't think... I don't know about two. Maybe a fountain on the other side. There we go. All right. We've reached our beauty requirements. Now we just need to get people to play the games. Which is fine. What if I set up a second game area? Let's do that. Because there were some other casino tables we've unlocked. Maybe I'll do it over here. It'll be a bit more of a high roller area. Oh! The strike is bad for business. The rumors are slowly spreading, but you didn't expect them to be true. It all began with awkward glances. Since your birds weren't that discreet, you caught them quickly. Then you heard them talking about you keeping all the money for yourself and them not being paid enough. Hearing that, you decided to have a little talk with them. But before you could do anything, they had already begun a new strike. Despite its apparent harmlessness, you are feeling uncertain. What will you do? No rush. Just see what happens. Put it into a... No, let's negotiate. We need to keep this strike from getting worse. Making deals is an art form of which you are a maestro. If someone is going to have their names on top of a tower in this town, it's you. But all masters have their unique touch. Uh, and for this meeting with the union boss, you need a plan. Ain't no ball like hardball, Sonny. No mercy, just conflict. Like Mama always said, open minds, open doors. Go in trying to be productive, resolve the situation. Employees are like family. Gotta be nice to family. I don't know. Employees are like family. You can treat them like dirt and they'll stick around. I must say, ain't no ball like hardball, sonny. Bravo, maestro. You managed to get out of the meeting room without even paying for coffee. This was an unwatchable sport. Someone would have screamed, home run or something. This is my kingdom. And today it's good to be king. I think we resolved the uh, the strike. Um, So we've got fancy craps tables. Cheap roulettes. Okay, let's get a couple of cheap roulette tables in here. And then we'll get a couple of fancy crap tables in the back. Yeah. And then we'll hire some croupiers. I like how it's, you hire by zone. That's actually quite convenient. I don't have to click on each one of these. Oh, look at the swarm of people going over there. So presumably some of these have money. They do have different stats. Oh, I can see how many chips they've got. And I think we can also manipulate these odds. Boxman roll? I don't know what that is. I don't know enough about gambling. Uh, we can... 
slot counts. I remember for the slot tables, I was looking, there's a, you can tweak the chance of winning. Antony calls you over the phone. You know, I knew working together would be rewarding. My animals told me you really did well with the entrance and all. Nice job, I underestimated you. But you have got gut. Unlike your predecessor, a useless dog. Wait, was it literally a dog? My mistake for hiring the wrong one. Yeah, you are perfect for this job, see? Our clients are the same. They're perfect for their job, making us rich. We have a paw in helping them do that, so we want them to stay. More various games bring more various clients. Alcohol makes them stay. Gotcha? You know what to do. And who knows, maybe I'm going to drop by if you keep up the good work. All right. If the longer they stay, the more likely they are to lose. Can't look at your watch if you're holding a drink. So get them to play a bunch of games. Reach a beauty of eight in a game area. Serve 20 drinks with alcohol to clients. Yeah, keep them drunk and dumb. That's going to be the idea over here. See slot machine, return to player, maintenance frequency. So we have the bar set up. Let's work on the beautification. Maybe I'll work on the beautification of our new area over here. Although the placement might be a little... Oh, we got bonsais now. Folding screens. Oh, let's get a jukebox. I like that. Apparently quite high in the beauty as well. <gasps> Thief in a pit. The count is lower than it should be. Too low for it to be a dealer. It's one of your cashiers. Time to act before the others notice and start lining their own pockets. <sighs> Old school tactics. Let's rough them all up and see who talks, shall we? What's up with the bustle? All your clients lose fun. Mm. This is what the eye in the sky is for. Watch those cameras like a hawk and nail the bastards. All clients lose fun. They know they're being watched, but you gain a bit of money. Turn a blind eye. Not time to upset the cashier uh, apple cart. No immediate consequences. No, man. Let's go old school Vegas. Let's just rough them up. You've been spending a little too much time with Antony. You set on the cashiers to see who will rat each other out. Time to break out the old wooden chair and overhead lamp. Tough luck. No one breaks. Ah, now they don't like you. Clients heard everything. They lose a bit of fun and you lose medium cash. Hey, we lost four grand? Come on! Look, kitty cat statues. To, oops, flank the entrance. Hold on. Uh, stable store. I think this moves the entire zone. New. No. Is there an edit button? There's probably a way to modify this. Oh, I can rename the area. That's useful. Oh well. We'll leave it there. We need a little bit more beauty in this area. Throw a Greek statue in the back. I uh, like... Oh, that's still not enough. Is this not give beauty? Oh, no! That one doesn't give beauty. Ah, uh, boo! All right, we'll put a bonsai in front of the cat. Maybe it's catnip. There we go. All right. Beauty's fine. We're waiting for the games. Serve 28 drinks with alcohol. Oh, let's hire a second bartender. They're clearly having to work real hard here. There's a lot of customers waiting. I might want to get a second bar. Wonder, did I leave enough room? Oh, well, I can move the whole zone, so it's going to be okay. Yeah, hold on. Let's do that. Let's move this entire zone over by the wall here. There we go. I like that. And let's set up a separate bar here. There. With two more bartenders. All right. We'll kick the speed up to maximum. And just wait for everyone to get nice and tipsy. A lot of people aren't happy, maybe because they're losing money. You got a PhD? Really? Do they track, like, different education level for um, our visitors? Hang on. There's someone I want to check out here. He had two things. PhD, and he's a bodybuilder. I wonder how those affect things. Maybe it's harder for security guards to rough up the bodybuilders? Oh, what's this? Party time! Look at ya! You almost independent now! Great performance, young Namo. Just a few more months and your debt will be repaid. All right, you want me over. I'm going to give you the best advice. Remember the animals uh, you, that kept an eye on you? They told me your cousin's in town, craving to work for you. It's time to have your own pit boss, don't you think? They're all good, but you can only choose one. Don't take too much time. They can still change their mind. Cats can't even decide what they want. So it's a handshake that tells you all you need to know. So we get a mechanical whiz. Slot machines break less often. All you need to know is in the cat's eyes. Blackjack dealers give back less chips. Uh, just ask what their favorite meal is. Loaded dice, clients playing craps have more chance to lose. Tell you what, let's go and take the mechanical whiz, pit boss, and throw him in the slot machine area. I'll go right there. And then we can put a bunch of extra slot machines in here, and we don't have to worry about maintaining them as often. 
which sounds pretty useful. Okay, try to reach the highest number of played games since I can spend the most money. So now we're on a time thing. Well, I've got a bunch of cash. So champagne bucket. Well, let's we can add some beauty. Actually, is there a queue by the um, cashier? There is. Okay, let's get a second cashier's table. I just saw it in the list. Where is it? Cashier's cage. I'm actually going to get a bunch. Okay, so that way people can get into the casino faster. Um, I'm also going to add some beauty to this area here. Because right now it doesn't have much. Champagne bucket. Oh. Maybe I can't put it just anywhere. What about the bar? Oh, there we go. Counterfeit chips! Damn thing's been turning up the counts the past week. Has to be an inside job. Who do you expect? Cashiers, dealers, the pit bosses? Cashiers, they handle the chips, so why don't they flag them? Put your pit bosses on cashier watch duty. Good call, makes sense to stop it here. Clients are having way more fun. Dealers could be handing out those counterfeits and splitting profits of thieves. You haunt the eye in the sky because of the stress your clients lose a bit of energy. The managers, they run the show, they could easily slip in the counterfeits, and a lot of them are gamblers themselves. Spend time on the floor watching close up, all your clients get annoyed. Okay, we'll, we'll check the cashiers then. Yep, it's two of your cashiers running a scam. What do you want to do with them? Warn them, get your money back. Get the small cash back. Tell Antony the couple cashiers have been stealing from his investment. Brutal, boss, brutal. Two cashiers mirrored their unfortunate end. All your clients are suddenly feeling sober. Uh, we'll just warn them. But yeah, I'll put down some champagne buckets in this room. That seems like a decent idea. But then, um, there you go. And make people feeling lucky with the... Uh, clover poster, palm trees, tiki torches, chairs. Oh, I don't get like a bunch of leafy plants in here. I'm not targeting a particular number for this zone. I just wanted to have some beauty. And then I think what I'm going to do is add in more slot machines. So first, I'm just going to fill in this with a bunch more cheap slots. And then we'll get some plastic slots over, oops, over there. Well, I guess that's going to have to be fine. Oh, you can just click and drag to move. Oh. Okay, that's actually quite cool. Yeah, or you just click and hold and it picks it up. Okay. Like, there had to be a way to move. I was going to say, maybe in the demo there's not, but done, done, done. Um, Maybe I should get another gaming area going on. How's the toilet? Is it, like, full of people? No. Okay, so we're not over capacity over there, which is good. Are these filters that I can choose? Oh, yeah, I can just have it just show me these. Oh, we could get the... Uh... We don't have blackjack yet. Craps. And roulette tables. I mean, the downside with these is we do need employees for all of those. But it seems like a decent idea. And now... It's not going to block anyone? Cool. Let's get a folding screen, because that looks kind of cool. Modern art sculpture. Got to put them places where we're not blocking anyone. But it's still in the zone. There we go. I know, I'm very inconsistent with my looks. Okay, what's the beauty over here? 11! Alright, so very pretty over here. High rollers, theoretically. Okay, maintenance having to be done. Looks like the janitor takes care of that. I'm wondering, um... I'm gonna get a second janitor. Maybe a second guard. Pit boss? Okay, we can't hire more. We need those pit bot stations, but that seemed to have come up as part of the quest, at least over here. All right, max speed. I suspect we'll get some other events as well. How's the queue? Ah, busloads of people are still arriving from time to time in the waiting area. Oh, they've got platypus. Plenty of people looking to get cash, but not all the time. So we, I, we don't need to add more cashiers. We don't need to add more of these. 
And actually, it's pretty quiet over here. Are you just, like, sitting on the ground? Rowdy whale! We love whales! Rich players who drop a ton of cash at the casino. But there's always one that thinks their money lets them do whatever they want. And let's be honest, they can do a lot. But there's limits, and this whale is pushing it. Enough's enough, throw them out. Lose a small amount of cash, all clients have increased fun because the whale is gone. Uh, get him nice and drunk and calm drinks, and then lock him in the bathroom. Let's see what happens. Leave him alone. 40% chance you'll win a big amount of cash off them. Since they are here and making life miserable for anyone, make sure they lose. Pitbot makes a check. Win. You gain a huge amount of cash. Fail. The whale wins and makes everyone life miserable. Um... Forty percent chance we get a bunch of money off them. These tables are going well. I think we need uh, we need more super wealthy people. I wonder if there's any chance they can't reach those tables. Well, no, they can reach it from the outside. They can definitely reach this, but I guess not that many people are into playing the blackjack. There you go. Yeah, you can reach those tables, no problem. Twenty-eight days left, so we'll just let this play out on super high speed here. Is there a queue for the bathroom? There might be. Maybe I'll build a second one. Hang on. Uh, restroom. Right over here. Where's my lose at? Right there. Okay, good. And then they don't have to walk as far, so they can get right back to the games as quickly as possible. Lots of people getting drunk. I'm really just hoping they play worse then. Card counters! Card counters are here. These professional blackjack gamblers aren't doing anything illegal per se, but they're counting cards in your dealer's shoe and assigning probability to their bets. That way they can bet huge with less risk. And worse, they run in teams, and a team can drain your bank in a couple hours. How are you going to deal with them? Uh, they're going to sort of cheat, so so are you. Put your sneakiest dealers at the table. Croupier will make a check. If they win, you gain a small amount of cash, and the counters are out dealt. If they lose, you lose medium amount of cash. Screw this. Rough them out. Toss them out. It's not funny at all, but it's your only solution. Back them off. Send in your pit boss to make a check the, to back the counters off their game. Pit, ball, pot, pit boss wins. All clients gain energy. We lose. We lose some cash. Uh, gaining energy, I guess, probably keeps in the casino longer. Do nothing. Let's see how it plays out. 50% chance their system takes you for a large amount of cash, or you win a small sum of cash from them screwing up. I, I'm just going to encourage them to back off. On progress. So, oh, what's this button? I hadn't noticed that one. Oh, we get a beauty meter. Oh, that's very useful, actually. That's our overview. Ah, okay. I can check to see different incomes, number of clients, win rates 25%. So, I wonder if there might be more, like, adjustments that I should do. Oh, we can take down how many slot counts they've got. I see. Single deck. Oh, we should add more decks to the shoe, actually. Uh, rumors are slowly spreading, but you didn't expect them to be true. All began... Oh, this is another strike. Nope. Hardball. Yeah, no, let's do a four-deck shoe. That's going to be important. We're losing money on craps over here. How about in this zone? Uh, losing tons of money on craps. The crap pop! Oh, speaking of craps, your clients are savage, and they're destroying your toilets one by one. Shut them down, shut them all down, give your chance to, uh, give your staff a chance to keep, catch up. All clients feel the urge to pee, but less, feel somehow less tired. Start charging for toilet trips. Invest in your janitors. Do nothing. It's all on you. Lose money, but gain homies. Comp li liquor, liquor. No, we'll invest in our janitors. Let's keep the toilets clean. Come on, I'm gonna run a decent business here. Two days left. Crack two thousand games, maybe, maybe. Oh, not quite. Young animal, you did incredibly well. Being part of our organization isn't easy. Still, you managed it like you were born for it. Yeah, you heard it right. No more debt. You're fully independent. Plus, you're a good friend now. I know we'll stay close. That said, I'm leaving town for a few days. Real family stuff. I'm still keeping an eye on you. Who knows? The police will always... The police always love to sniff around, especially this annoying leopard officer. Don't worry. The bar family is always watching, even when we're not. We'll be back soon. Stay in touch. And you'll be watching. There we go! So again, little demo over here to the game. I ended up with a 79,000 point score over here. Um, keep in mind, active development, enjoyed the demo, joined the discard in Discord indeed. Oh yeah, so early access, what are you gonna have? 
full sandbox mode, enhanced tutorial. I mean, the tour was actually pretty easy to follow. New animal clients and employees, different needs, likes and dislikes, VIP characters, casino layouts, deepened economic system, many more casino attractions, furniture, shiny items, more narrative events, narrative arcs. Excellent. Well, there you go. Uh, I know it's short because it's just a demo, uh, but there's a look at Blooming Business Casino. You know I love business simulations, so I was kind of excited to play this one. Uh, you can check the links down in the doobly-doo. Again, there'll be a link there for the Steam page. You can wishlist the game uh, as well as the Discord. Again, this was uh, sponsored by Homo Ludens, the developers behind this very adorable title. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.